Doc, how's the lieutenant? Not good. But at least he's still with us. Jackson, are you sure there's in a back hospital around here? That's what that joker back there said, wasn't it? Hey, Jackson, we gotta get these men there in a hurry. Hey, look, you think I'm in no hurry, huh? Look, around the bend. Doc, does that look like it's it? No, but let's take it anyway. Yeah. I think we're lucky. Yeah. Holy Toledo. Anybody home? Hello. How do you suppose I get to the kitchen for some hot water? On a bicycle. Hey, Doc. Uh, Mademoiselle, uh, no somme American. Uh, Parlez-vous en anglais? Yes. I speak English. We're trying to get to the Avac Hospital near St. Uh, Saint Luke. We, we got lost. Well, there is no hospital in this region. All of this is held by the Germans. Combat. A Selmer production. And Vic Morrow. Guest star, Dan O'Herlihy. Let's bug out, huh? He can't be moved. He's losing too much blood. Corny's got to stay put, too. Miss, how close are the Germans right now? Uh, I don't know. A dozen or so kilometers inside the lines. No one is sure. Gabriel! I order you to leave at once. I want none of you. The wounded can't be moved. They will be moved. Immediately. Papa, don't you see these men? Go to your room. Gabriel, go to your room. <coughs> Look, Doc, why do we stay here just to get captured, huh? I think they'd rather get captured than bleed to death. Be careful there. A carpet is priceless. Sir, if you would give me one room that I could set up for an aid station, I wouldn't get blood on your carpet or anything else. How did you get here? You have no right to be here. That's right, sir. And I crowd bullet? That shouldn't have been there either, huh? I give you two hours. No more. In there. Jackson, get my kid off the wagon, will you? Yeah. 
I have no food to offer you. I remember, two hours. Hey, Doc, the lieutenant's come through. All right, I'll get that squad. And... Oh, yeah. How am I doing, Doc? You're doing just fine, sir. What is it? Where are we? We're housing some civilians. Hotel? Hey, fellas! Down the road. Crops. What? We're behind the German lines. <laughs> Back there through those trees, sir. One of those scout cars. <laughs> Come on, sir. We gotta get moving, huh? You stay put, sir. What are we gonna do, Lieutenant? That level with me. What kind of shape are we all in? You caught some shrapnel. You've lost a lot of blood. Cording and Braddock aren't out of the woods either. We stay. We take our chances. How far away? Maybe a mile, sir. Think you can make it? I guess I can try. Right, where's my 45? Do your best. Get word back. You know where to head? Yeah. Away from them. Maybe we'll get lucky. They won't stop here. You feel that lucky, Braddock? No, not really. Lekker raus. Was ich im Wagen finden zum Chateau bringen. Jawohl, Herr Major. Los. That's not Jackson coming back. No. No such luck. Don't try anything, Cordy. Just don't try anything. an American? A medic? I have three wounded in there. Three? Is that all? Well, three wounded myself. Come out here. Auf passen. Hermann. Nichts sprechen Deutsch. Nichts sprechen Deutsch. We are quite aware of that, Count de But your daughter and you do speak English, don't you? Yes, but how do you know? Victor, sir. Major, 43rd Field Artillery. You have four Americans? Yes, they burst in about 30 minutes ago, but well, they Only came... four? Yes, there were five. Number what? five has already met me. Three are wounded? Yes, three. Under your roof, then, sir, are four of the enemy. Yourself, your daughter, Gabrielle, your manservant, André. Is that correct? Yes, Major, but how I do I have you... heard so much about this chateau of your family, sir. I have looked forward to seeing it with my own eyes someday. Ah, this is your famous Fragonard, is it not? Yes, yes. 
Count de Gontran, I know you want to tell your daughter that my men and I will avail ourselves of your hospitality for a short while. I'll see you in 15 minutes, sir. Bring in. Come. The lieutenant is the only officer? That's right, sir. How bad? Well, he's got shrapnel on both thighs. I can't seem to stop the bleeding. Would it be possible, sir, to have a doctor look after these men? That's impossible. Bad, too? They're all hospital cases, sir. I am sure the American Army would not have made you a medic if you were not capable. Do your best. Here? There is no other place. Set up your ward here in this room. You yourself may move about the chateau as your duties, but only your duties may require. The three wounded must remain in this room, or you will be shot. If Count de Gontran can provide you with some cots, you may have them. Otherwise, you must make do. I will provide you with forms to fill out, advising the Red Cross you are now prisoners of war. Make sure the form of the lieutenant is taken care of. Yes, sir. By the way, the daring fellow who attempted to flee down the road was killed. <laughs> Resting, Papa? Why are you dressed? We are having dinner with the Major. I think you should dress. I don't want to, Papa. I think it would be wise. No, I do not think you need to fear the Major. I am not afraid of the Major. His invitation was most polite, most polite. Uh, he's obviously a gentleman, he's well educated, he's proper, gallant. Uh, breathing always tells. Then we are very fortunate. Ah, oh, my dear, listen to me. Five years ago, I promised you that we would survive this stupid war. Because we are intelligent. And we are shrewd. And we are practical. We know how to judge people. And we move with the times. I don't think I am very practical, Papa. My dear, that is what I am trying to teach you. How do you suppose this chateau has existed for 400 years with the same family in it? Because we know when to compromise and when to stand firm. This is the age of compromise. But you and I shall be here when the Germans have gone and the Americans and the English, the fascists and the communists. And the Gontran heirlooms will be here. The Gobelins and the Fragonards and all our paintings. For your children and your grandchildren. I hope so. I know so. Now, you change. Well, you come down to dine. And you let me handle the Major. Only survive, little one. Survive no matter what it takes. And bear me grandchildren. That's all I ask of you. That's all I ask of you. Alles in Ordnung, Herr Major? Ja, ja. Ah, Major, I was just telling André. I am not at all sure what there is in the kitchen. Ah, no problems, Count. Does your daughter intend she to... She will be in directly. Ah, Noella, as you see. Good evening, my dear. Good evening, Papa. Uh, Gabriel, this is Major Richter.
How do you do? My pleasure, mademoiselle. I hope I did not keep you waiting. Not at all. Thank you. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, I was about to explain to Major Richter that uh, for the past five years, the estate was unable to function properly. We could raise no crops. Uh, most of the people have already left the region. You know, once we had six servants, now André is the only one who remains with us. But Gabriel and I, we did not leave. And we shall not leave. There is no necessity to leave. Ah, exactly. I have a sense of responsibility to the past and to the future. This chateau, these paintings, the family tradition must be preserved. And it shall be. How long, Major, do you think you will be staying with us? Not long. I hope you will allow me. I have ordered some supplies to be sent in, which I should like to share with you. Ah. A pound or two of Russian caviar, some fine Polish hands. When I was stationed in Rome, I acquired some interesting Italian wine which I hope you will enjoy. I also ordered an extra allotment of fuel to take the chill off these huge rooms. You are very generous, Major. I'm your guest. I wish to thank my host and hostess. by the minute. What are they doing? You see anything, Doc? You hear anything? Well, it looks to me like it's going to be an artillery observation post. Yeah. What else you find out? Look, Cording. I got three patients here. One of them's got a temperature of 102. Well, the only German I know is off Peterson. Then you got to do something. How many men moved in, Doc? About 15 down by the stable. And if we wait, pretty soon there'll be 50. We gotta make our move now. Right, Braddy? You think I haven't been... You think I haven't been thinking about it, too? You think I don't know where it'll take us when they decide to kick us out of here? Doc, it's up to you. Now we gotta get out. Even if only one of us makes it. Look, I can't leave the lieutenant. You guys aren't doing so well, either. You could grab a gun when you go in the kitchen and Richter's orderly turns his back. It's worth a try, Doc. Even if just one of us makes it, we can get word back this artillery unit's moving in. Doc, it's up to you. That's it, Alice, good night. Good night. Sound good. I need your help. I look steep. My arm thinks so. What did you get it with? That ridiculous thing there. It 
It's dirty. You better wash it thoroughly. I have been doing so. That's bad. Why didn't you pick it up? Too much principle or too little courage? You're quite efficient. Have you ever considered joining the German army? Goofing off. Now, better be now. Let's see who takes this one. It's a deal. All right. Okay. Give me a minute. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Hey, Kraut, so come in here with the doctor. This is a feverish, the Lieutenant. They're looking here. What's a sick and a schwein hund, the Lieutenant? What's the matter with you? There's no doctor here. What's the stiff off licking draus? Sick, sick. What's the stiff off licking draus? The stiff licking tot. Up. 
Kümmer dich darum. Ganz fest. He was trying to escape. Please, go to bed. You should not see these things. Please. He would not stop when I ordered him to. Did you see him? I... No. I, I saw you. I saw you shoot him. Then he fell. I, I, don't, I don't know. I will see they are all sent away as soon as possible. Now go to sleep. I am truly sorry. Where is my father? I will see him this moment. Again, my apologies. Good night, Gabriel. But you do know that one of my men was murdered. The three of you will remain here in this room until a vehicle is spared to take you all to a compound. I advise you not to be so heroic again. If your duties require you to leave this room, you will be under constant surveillance. Sir, neither of these men is in any condition to travel. For a medic, it should be an interesting trip. Pass auf bei meinem Packen. Major Richter! I do not understand what young men are doing. Papa, please. No, this is not for you. Major Richter, I insist you tell your men to stop. I am not accustomed to being shouted at, and I am busy. Wait, please, wait. Please is better, much better. Come down here if you have anything to say. No, no, I will handle this. This is not for you. Can it not wait? No, Major. Please leave us alone. Oh, yes, of course. But, 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 Major, your men are taking away our paintings, the tapestries. For safekeeping. But, but, but why? You have no right. Would you have them destroyed? I am merely trying to keep them safe. Destroyed? But, but, but Major, I do not understand. Count! You were living in an artillery observation post. It would make an ideal target. Can you understand that? Oh, well, well then, then, may I suggest the cellar, Major? I decided against the cellar. Oh. André tells me that the crates are addressed to Stuttgart. Yeah. In your family, you were telling us that your family lives in Stuttgart. Are you accusing me of stealing? No, no. Are you doubting my good judgment? No. Then we have nothing further to discuss, do we? I know you are not well gone. Don't let me keep you from returning to your room. Mach den Wein auf. Make sure your men are careful, Major. Please. Robos, ich kann die Amerikaner nicht länger hier behalten. Es ist ausgeschlossen. Herein! Jawohl, jawohl, Herr Robos. With you, Major. Of course. 
How pleasant. I was feeling sorry for myself because I could not join you for luncheon. Please sit down. Thank you. Did you have some for dessert? With what? Fresh strawberries. No, I didn't. Please have some. Thank you. I love them. I have come to ask a favor. Mm hmm Please do not take the Fragana. You love that too. My father does, more than anything. And more than anything, it must be safe. It is the finest painting in the house. Please do not take it. And if I do not? Did your father send you here? You know he did not. Gabriel de Contra, the dossier about you was not at all thorough. You will think about the Fragonard? I will think about it. No. One should always save something. Congratulations. Congratulate Friedrich. He finds such things for me. Have you any idea how much you interfered with my work this afternoon? I interfered? You, Gabriel. After you left, I must confess I did not feel completely military. I found myself looking forward to tonight, as if I were a civilian years ago, wondering what the night might bring. It is very difficult, Major, to think of you anyway, but completely military. <laughs> but not impossible. No, not impossible. I did accomplish one piece of business. I prepared a listing, an inventory, of the items I am removing from the chateau for safekeeping. I asked your father to sign it, to get his approval. Oh, I, I did not see my father this afternoon. Andre told me he was not feeling well. He's resting. The listing did not include the Fragonard. That is very generous of you, Major. I am a man of my word, Gabrielle. More café? More real café? No, thank you. I would like to say good night to my father. No need to. He is probably sleeping. I do every night of my life. Excuse me. Gabriel. I will be in my room. Come tell me how he is feeling. Good night, Mr. Friedrich. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Good night. Good night, Mr. Mayor.
You're all leaving in 15 minutes. All. What? Did he sign it? He signed it. I'm glad he did. Mademoiselle de Contrat, you are not what I expected at all. Oh? What did you expect? A child, terrified of the conquerors. You're a strange girl, and very proper. I do not feel very proper. Not now. But uh, perhaps I don't want to be. Gabrielle. A lovely contest to contra. Proper contest to contra. Yes, darling. I, I will just be a moment. Thank you. Frederick? Mademoiselle? My father is very sick. The Major said the American doctor can't look at him. The doctor? Yes, Mademoiselle. Just a slight indisposition. Mademoiselle, your father is... Perhaps you, you have some medication in your kit. Some little pills in your kit. Yes, I, I think so. I will get you a glass of water, Papa. Fertig? Uh, yeah, yeah.
Ein Moment, Walter. Diese geht auf mit. to be disturbed just now. Chateau is right here, sir. Lieutenant, I hope you know what you're talking about. They're setting up an artillery observation post, moving in a lot of men, practically a CP. Give me the vision. 